<laughs> I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. This is Poetry Fix, and we're still forgetting to turn the camera on. More Cheslov Milos. you got to do two, two turns yeah. around the courtyard with Milos. He was, of course, uh, Polish and uh, didn't exactly escape the war, survived the war, mm. and emigrated to Berkeley, where he met my former teacher, Robert Haas, and who translated him. The thing I, I find heartening about Milos is how great his late work was. Mm. Yeah. This poem, Late Ripeness, was written in his 90th year. He almost lived to 100. I like the idea that, it, I think his powers improved in those last so poems. Yeah. Late Ripeness. Not soon, as late as the approach of my 90th year, I felt a door opening in me and I entered the clarity of early morning. One after another, my former lives were departing, like ships together with their, their sorrow and the country, cities, gardens, the bays of seas assigned to my brush came closer, ready now to be described better than they were before. I was not separated from people. Grief and pity joined us. We forget, I kept saying, that we are all children of the king. For where we come from, there is no division into yes and no, into is, was, and will be. We were miserable. We used no more than a hundredth part of the gift we received for our long journey. Moments from yesterday and from centuries ago, a sword blow, the painting of eyelashes before a mirror of polished metal, a lethal musket shot, a caravel staving its hull against a reef. They dwell in us, waiting for a fulfillment. I knew always that I would be a worker in the vineyard, as are all men and women living at the same time, whether they are aware of it or not. That bastard is good. <laughs> I love that. I felt the door opening in me, yeah. and I entered the clarity of, it's an inward door, and yet you do have the sense of him moving, tra you know. It's as if he's imploding. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and what happens is he's able to write better. The country, cities, gardens, the bays of seas assigned to my brush, you know, he's yeah, painting, came, came closer. closer. Described better than ever before. I was not separated from people. The idea that, you know, a lot of times for me moving around the city, I sense that by being defended, I, I'm i going to protect myself from all the bad guys. But the truth is, when you just kind of loosen up and people jostle you and you apologize whether it's your fault or not, there's a power in that. Um, it's And it's also, it's a kind of calling together of us in this it's a, yeah, there's a strange um, sense in which turning inward allows you to turn outward. Right. Or that he finds within within this very solitary place um, every every connection that could ever be and has been existed already. Right. Right. These we're, moments we're all yesterday is, was, will be, and lose distinction. Right? right. We're all workers in the vineyard. And yet he also makes a very specific distinction, as are all men and women living at the same time. So it's sort of like our vineyard on this planet right now, we're all sort of tethered, stomping the same damn grapes. I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. This is Poetry Fix.